Hello YouTube, it's Claire here from Sewing by Claire and um, today's skill builder is all going to be about understitching. Now understitching is one of those techniques that um, does get mentioned in some patterns if the instructions are particularly comprehensive but quite often it's missed out and that's a real shame in my opinion because it's actually one of those techniques that once you know it and once you understand it actually it can really elevate your garments so hopefully after today's video you'll understand exactly what it is, you'll know how to do it and then even if your pattern and doesn't say for you to do it you'll know that you'll get a better result if you do so without further ado let's get on with it so on this sample here that I've done previously we can see that we've got some under stitching and what we start off with is we start off with our straightforward normal seam instead of pressing it apart like we have done on this one we're just going to keep those together and just press our seam that we've sewn together and that's the way that we start. Now, what we can see is that both of those two seam allowances on this one have been pushed over to the one side. So the first row of stitching is the one stitching the two um, pieces of fabric together, like on this one. But then what happens is, then is we push the both pieces of seam allowance across to one side, and then we do another row of stitches, very close, only like one, one or two eighths of an inch away from the edge of the previous seam stitches, and that then holds down these seam allowances to one side. Now, what that means is that when you then go and turn your top fabric, which is actually this one, because you don't see the understitch from the outside, it, it pulls the in, um, seam allowances and that first side across to the back, so you just get a bit of this glimpse of the turning turned edge of your top fabric is left is left proud if you like so it means that when you have your top fabric on your dress or on your item of clothing or project you don't see that lining on the inside now it's difficult to, to actually demonstrate that so much when you've got two pieces of plain fabric like this it can show you the technique um, but actually the effect of it is easier if I show you it on some garments that have already been made so let me just get you those and I'll show you how um, it looks in in real life if you like so first of all, I've got this dress, which is actually one from Marks and Spencers, and that's a brand that oh, sorry, people will be aware of in the UK. Um, and it's got this um, facing that's on the outside. So it's an external facing that's on the outside of this garment. Now, what you can actually see is that as we've turned over the edge of this fabric here, the facing, there's our row of understitching just there. There's actually a decorative row on top, but that's further down. So that's the decorative row on the outside, but on the inside we can actually see there's two rows here. And what it means is that the stitch line for the seam is actually in here, and then there's a little bit extra proud just there. So this understitching here, this is that top line of understitching, is only visible on the inside of the garment. It isn't present on that edge, on the edge here, you can only see the decorative top stitch in there on the other side of the seam allowance. Let me just get a different um, garment to show you. Hold on one second. Oops, excuse the coat hangers rattling. So this one actually is a Ralph Lauren um, dress that I've got, wore for my sister's wedding. And again here we can see there's the outside fabric which is patterned and here we've got the inside fabric which is the lining. And there is our row of understitching just here. So have a look at some garments of yours, particularly on dresses, anything with a bodice, um, a waistcoat often has understitching, um, sometimes jackets will do as well. So it, it's just to hold the seam allowances, it's not just to hold, it, it, the, the, um, the result of, in, in, of un, understitching is that it holds the seam allowances down with this inside fabric. So if this was bright red and this was black, the idea is that you'd only see the black edge on, on your, of the top, top, the top fabric would be visible and the lining would stay out of the way because the seam allow, this understitching holds it down and out of the way. So you can see here again particularly where the seam was originally where they joined the two pieces of fabric together just there. And then the, under, the seam allowances and the understitching is shown there. But if you look to the main side, there's nothing visible this side. But look how it pulls those seam allowances and it pulls that top fabric round to the back a little bit so you don't see any of the lining fabric 
So again, that's in a Ralph Lauren dress, as you can see, and it just pulls it through. If you get it just right, then that's that's the effect of it. It just pulls it over for you and sits it just nicely so that you don't actually see any of the lining on the outside of the fabric. So if when you've been making things and dressmaking things, you're ending up with your fabrics like that and you're trying to get an edge and every now and again you'll see a bit of your lining, this is the trick that you're missing. It's this understitching here, which is what you need. And I've got another one here with a contrast. Oops, everything's falling off my knee. Um, with some contrast stitching. And here I've got um, this lovely green fabric on the outside, this cotton fabric. And then I chose to have a cream lining on the inside. And again, this is the inside of a tie sleeve. And what I've done on the main body of this is that, as you can see, there's no line of stitching on the outside here, but the lining is tucked nicely to the inside. So when I'm wearing this dress, the only time you'll see it is if the, the fabric um, gapes a little bit, which is fine on there. And again, the back of the neck just here, look. We've got that all tied, uh, all neatened down with understitching. And again, round a neckline, really important as well, um, just to make sure that, that neckline there just sits really nice and flat and you don't get any of the lining pulling forward because that would really spoil the look of your garment so hopefully that's explained what it is um, and as I say it, it is just one of those little tricks that if you don't know about you'll think oh it never wants to sit right for me but but actually it's it's a really simple step and we'll, I'll show you how to do it so what we start with if you start with your two pieces of fabric and you're just going to sew those together as you would do normally just for the straight seam start and stop at the uh, beginning and the end what I want you to do then is to press the two seam allowances to one side. So really open up this seam when you're pressing it to make sure that you know there's nothing. You're not you're not ironing it or um, setting it so that you've got like a little bit of an overhang. You don't want any overhang at all. You want to make sure that fabric's pulled right back, and you can see your stitched edge quite nice and clearly there. So get that one. So get that pressed so that you're ready to start then. And you're working from the inside of your fabric as well. Let me just put a note on here so that we know. So this is the inside. And this was is your top outside or your top fabric, sometimes called your fashion fabric. So that would be your lining and this would be the outside fashion fabric or your top fabric. And then what we're going to do is we're going to set our machine up so that we can follow this line. Now again, this is where being able to move your needle will be your friend, because what you want to do is to have a line that you follow on your presser foot. In this case, I'm going to be using this line here on my presser foot. You could use the outside if you wanted as well, just whatever you, you're um, most comfortable with. And then I'm just gonna change my needle across. So I'm a couple of um, clicks away from this edge here, and I'm gonna use this here to follow along my um, seam that I've already sewn and then my needle will be a couple of clicks in there which will be one to you know one to two eighths of an inch that's all you need to be it's just got to be the side you don't want to be right down here in the middle because then you've got too much play here it's really keeping it quite close just a millimetre or two away from this this sewn edge already so once we're ready with that you can start and stop making sure that we're keeping this, this seam and the seam allowance is pulled over to one side. Easy to see on this fabric, but you just need to just, if you need to keep stopping every now and again, remember to use your needle up down um, button so that it anchors your work, anchors your fabric down. that off and snip our ends off as we like to keep them nice and neat and so there we've got our row of under stitching and, and that's as I say so on, on the inside very inside of the garment you'll see you'll see these two rows of stitching the first one is stitched your seam and the second one is then securing these seam allowances down to the one side the inside of your garment and then when we fold this over and then you can take this to your machine and press it you'll be surprised at how well that'll press with just that little rolled edge there 
keeping onto your um, onto the inside of your garment, the lined side of your garment. Now we use this as well with facings around a neckline, um, around a seamless, uh, sorry, a, a um, sleeveless dress as well. You could use this if you've got a facing, um, if you've been told about a facing where it, it's, if you've not got a full lining, you'll have a, a piece of fabric that'll follow the curve of a neckline or an arm, arm um, side, and you can use this then to do that. The other thing that you can uh, uh, that um, you've got to be aware of is that sometimes, especially if you're going up into the corners of a bodice, um, let me just find a dress to help demonstrate this for you. Hold on a second. So if we've got a dress like um, Daisy's dress here, we can see that I haven't understitched these um, seams here, mainly because they're just so tiny. You're probably going to find this better on, on full-size garments. But you can see how the lining, sometimes you can see it on the inside, just catch a glimpse of that pink. And if I'd have understitched that down when I was making this dress, you wouldn't see that at all, it, because with the roll of the fabric, it just helps keep it to one side. Again, on the neckline here, um, we could, if we wanted to, um, uh, do that. But on a full size garment, as you come in round the armhole here, arm side, and you're going through the neck here, where it gets narrow here, you can't always under stitch right at the very top here so just be aware that you just you literally just go as far as you can do and then you stop also if you've got a back opening garment when you're working with that and perhaps got a zip or you've got buttons down the back just stop a couple of inches away from that central opening because the under stitching may impede your ability to get as neat a finish as you want on the inside and where that fastening is. So that's just a couple of tips really for the more advanced sewers is I would just keep your understitching away from any opening at the back. But on, on this kind of garment, you know, I mean, I, this was made for my granddaughter's um, Luna, so I, I haven't bothered with it, but you know, it demonstrates quite well that you can see on the edge there how the lining is wanting to pull forward and just show Whereas if I had have got it understitched, it would just pull it through onto the onto the um, wrong side of the on the inside of the garment there, and you wouldn't see that at all. So so just be aware of that. And again, it's not visible. You're not going through both lots of fabrics. You're just going through on the, just on that very inside edge there. Um, and as we showed you on the sample there, you just just put your seam allowances to one side. And then you just pull your fabric apart and then sew your edge and you've got it. So hopefully um, that's a, an interesting tip for you. Try it on your next garment um, and compare it to what you've done in the past and see how, how you like the finish. But again, if you're adding any facings or you're lining um, um, a bodice, that type of thing, or making a waistcoat again, you can, you can use it just to make sure that none of those edges are shown and visible from the front and you'll be a surprise what a lovely clean edge it'll give you. So that's today's top um, skill builder. Have a great day, everybody. Happy stitching.